That's a dream. <laughs> there are. I know, it's great. Another dream of every artist will be your uh, gun case or uh, your gun cabinet. Yes. Can you show us a little this, bit? Yes, I can. This is my small... My, Check this my out. small gun collection. Oh, you have plenty too. <laughs> well, but you no, but too. no, that kind yeah. of... Uh, I have a few of these, so but... You can see everything. Not as... These are... Uh, uh, this is a really nice setup, let me yeah. tell you. I, or an I for what what I can see, most of them are Iguata. Everything, just about everything. Just right? These are all Iguata, everything. I have one 3M uh, gun. This is actually the same thing. I was just talking about okay. the GPS. They have a gun that actually works uh -oh. the same way, and it's an interchangeable head system. Wow. So you actually have a, a nozzle that plugs into the gun that's absolutely it does, awesome. it's, these are these come a long way the, the the first version of these were okay mm -hmm. for spraying sealer and primer you uh -huh. know really like that um, these will actually spray base coat pretty nice I'm actually impressed with this right. the second version but uh, I have it just because we we also when we test I have to test of course other guns you know I have to make sure that everything works oh, it's not oh, just oh, also specific. I see I see that you have there your Luma Air oh my Luma uh, uh, I have two of them. Yes, uh, I have my. This one fits my uh, LPH 400. Okay. And this one fits my Supernova. Oh wow! And I love. Can, can, can you attach one of them? Oh, just, sure. to, yeah. just to see it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I think are um, probably many artists or painters that are not familiar with the equipment that you have. And so, this one fits I, the Supernova. And, okay. Uh, the Supernova is my. Your favorite. For, with my well, with my background doing refinish you know okay. and, and restoration work i painted uh, you know full, so, paint, full so, paint job so, so you take the off. the head off yep. or or, or so you take the air cap off the air cap off air cap okay. goes off it just clips right on okay and this little plate goes right up to the packing nut it's on the oh, back side i of the see gun. i see and then you just put your air cap back on okay snug it up so it's actually just taking. It's just a pressure fit. Yep, it's just a pressure fit, and it doesn't it doesn't affect the air cap in any way. Nothing. It doesn't. It's designed so it doesn't you know get in the way. It doesn't in, impede any performance of the gun. Right. So make sure you're centered it's on the line. line. Okay. And then you have your little on-off switch in the back here. It's just the same thing. It's a little pressure fit to turn it on. Oh, and check and that out. It's a train it, coming at you right now. It's uh, you, you wouldn't think, when I first saw these, I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, it's, it thought it was a cool thing. Right. Um, once you use this, once oh. you paint Did it. Did you this, get addict? <laughs> it, it, well, because you see, no matter how much light you have in a booth. Yeah, it's it's of, never what, enough. It's never enough, especially when you get down low, you know. Um, Can you eliminate oh, any absolutely. particular yeah. I mean, area? I mean, look, I mean, down here, you know, this is, that's dark. Without anything yes. in there, that's completely yes. dark. And now I can, I mean. And these are these are color corrected as well, so oh, wow. you're getting a, a pretty accurate color representation of what it is that you're spraying. It's not just a. a bowl, uh, I you imagine know. that when you spray uh, metallics or flakes, metallics is oh, okay. like you can see it. You actually, it actually will illuminate. You can see the paint coming out of the end of your spray gun. It's wow. just it's crazy, and it, it just you it helps with coverage, um, especially spots. I don't know how many painters. Right, me, me included. You, you think you got everything covered, and then you put nah. the thing outside, and you start seeing where it's a little light, especially yeah. around areas that are lower on the car, like your wheel openings, your, right. your rockers in between, you know, those jam areas that are lower to the ground. It's always harder because you're, you know, you're you're kind yeah. of spraying like this, and yeah, you, you think you got guessing. it, and you look, it looks good. Uh, and, Another tip, a tip would be to you actually turn the light off when you're done, and then go back over with this light. Yeah. And you can see, because this is really going to show you, without any uh, lights in the booth, this is going to show you what the metallic looks like. This is going to show you the pearl. This is going to uh, show you if you have any spots that you missed or if, if your your sealer isn't covered enough. You know, if you have a primer spot or an area that you don't have enough coverage, that it's kind of hard to see. Just like when you're looking at something metallic in full sun, uh -huh. you're kind of blinded by the metallic. Yeah. You can't really see. And the best time to look at it is like that morning light or that that, right. that sunset because it shows everything. If there's model, if there's blotch, yeah. if there's any striping, you're going to see it, it then, but you're not going to see it in full sun. Right. So this kind of helps kind of mimic that same, same focus light just on that area without all the reflection in the booth. 
and you can see if your coverage is good you can see if the metallic looks correct it's just it's an indispensable tool and it's really for what wow. it does it's really not that expensive uh, I, I I know how important it is that's why I'm asking to show us. Oh, yeah. And um, just to end, can you uh, show us a little bit inside your yeah, spray booth? Absolutely, absolutely. So, this is our booth. <laughs> right now, Which? we have it set up as a, a studio for some guy, Gerald. Uh, <laughs> but this, this is this is our 100% our, our paint booth and our facility. Uh, where uh, and this is happens. amazing and powerful. <laughs> it is. Uh, and beautiful oh. also. <laughs> It's, to See, me, it's, uh, it's, I, I know you guys did an awesome job putting together because you guys over. bring it over in pieces, as you, a, you tell me, and yeah. then... This was actually, it was, we, we bought this actually used, um, you know, so we took it apart, brought it back here, and then reassembled it, and, and we fixed a lot of things that, that we didn't like, and made some corrections on, on how the booth was, kind of tailored it to what we wanted, so we did a lighting upgrade, these are all... Uh, I believe they're like 98 CRI. The CRI stands for color rendering, and so it's a mm. it's a true color light. Uh, oh, uh, you know, okay. LED light. These are LEDs. Um, wow. We have the Becca uh, flash dry air system. Yeah, you these, showed me that. That's what and these that tubes are. So awesome. What happens is we're already in a booth. This is a semi downdraft booth, so air is coming in from the air makeup. If we if we need to heat the air, it's okay. coming in from outside. It gets heated, and it's filtered, and it gets filtered through the ceiling and then it comes into the booth environment, right? And uh -huh. then it gets exhausted out the back. So air in and out. Right. What's happening is once this booth is closed and you're done with a coat of paint, you turn this guy on and that little filter up there is filtering the air one more time and then it pushes in through the pipes on the roof and it splits up both sides creates airflow out of each one of these little holes. And you can direct over your project. You can adjust these to spray, not spray, but move the air higher, lower, or whatever you need to do. There's a valve at the end of all. I can shut one side off, and I can only run one side. I can run both sides. I can shut them down. I can adjust the air. And everything exhausts through that filter. Everything, everything goes out through that rear filter. So, not only does that help during, you know, dry times, it also helps during cycle too as well just to, to that air movement so and as you say you guys have a setup here check it out these lights <laughs> are oh, yeah. absolutely awesome i love them these are everything that you guys probably don't see too much when we do our videos because it's behind the camera but that's yeah again these are we can adjust these for but, that, but that's why your color. videos are not only so. interested, interesting, but also awesome, good <laughs> quality videos. That's, we try, we try. <laughs> and you can adjust the color correction. I can, yeah, I can, we can, like, and, just, we, we, you can go from like 2200 or 3000 3, Kelvin, which is a little warmer. Oh, I Maybe see. That's 2000 right there. Uh, uh -huh. All the way up to 56, which is a wow. blue, blue, white, this, super, super blinding. But no, this is and then absolutely you can, you can amazing. Also adjust the intensity of the light as well. We can dim them down to nothing if you want. Well, and I have been the honor to be painting here. This piece is still in progress, you know. Mm -hmm. We're working on the backgrounds, start yeah. colorizing backgrounds, you know. You're doing uh, all right. <laughs> I, I'm trying, I'm trying, and well, this is the reference art, some of the paint and tools that I'm using, mm -hmm. and well, let me tell you, this has been a real great experience for me to to too. be in with you. Yeah. Take, thanks for your time showing us the, the, giving us the tour in the company, yeah. and this is absolutely awesome, so thanks so much, Chris. No problem. Okay, bye-bye.